when starting a problem that gives you a comparison between two different variables like country A and country B's population and the table has the years, we need to first figure out well, how T will be defined. And in this problem, T was defined as years since 1990, which means we need to look at our table as our input values being the years since 1990. So I'm going to take every year and subtract 1990, and the result is going to go in my table for T. So 1990 minus 1990 is 0, 1995 minus 1990 is 5, 2000 minus 1990 is 10, and 2006 minus 1990 is 16. These values are not going to change. They are the same as they were in the table over here. I like to create a scatter plot so that I can see my data and get an idea of what it's going to look like. This will require you to adjust your window so you can see this. A window here that would work nicely is from 0 to 20 for your x min to x max since the values for my t's fall between 0 and 16. And as for your y values or your outputs here, it looks like you would need to go up to something greater than 32,750. So 35,000 is probably up enough. And I jumped up by 500 increments for my scale for my y's. As we look at our data table, this particular problem asked us to use the data for specific points. It wanted us to look at 1990 and 2006. So for country A, that means I'm going to use the data point 0, 14,225 and 16, 31,159. So I jotted those two points down here that I'll need to use. And then you're going to need to find the slope in the y-intercept. We're going to need to do the same thing for country B, except for its point at 1990 was 0, 25,650 and at 2006 was 16, 32,750. If you do not use the points that WebAssign tells you to, and this one specifically said to use the first and last data points, but if it said to use for different years, I would need to make sure that I found the correct years. So as I go through to find the slope, it's the change in the y values over the change in the x values from the points they asked me to use. After I find the slope, I then need the y-intercept. And in this problem, we didn't even need to find the y-intercept because the point 0 comma b is in our table and it was the point that they asked us to use. If it was not the point they asked us to use, in other words, if 1990 was not the point they asked us to use, I should be calculating b and not using the one from the table. So because I get to use 1990 as one of my data points and that is my starting year, I can pick my B out and I don't have to calculate it. So I end up with A of T is equal to 1058.35 times T plus 14,225. For country B, again I found the slope by doing the change in Y over the change in X and I found my slope to be 443.75 or 750. The y-intercept again, because they told me that I'm using the point 1990, I can read it off my graph since that was the starting year. I just realized I have a typo here. This should say 1990, not 1900. And since that's the case, I go ahead and I use that value for b because the point they're asking me to use is actually the y-intercept. My equation is much quicker to find. I get B of T equals 443.750 T plus 25,650. Again, if they were not asking me to use this data point here, I would have to do the calculation to find B by substituting a point they did want me to use in for X and Y in my equation. When determining the years for which country A will have more people than country B, we first need to find the part where the two lines are intersecting. So you could do this by putting these equations in y1 and y2 into your calculator and finding the point of intersection that way, or just by setting the two equations equal to each other and solving for t. So if you set this equation, oops, this equation here equal to b of t, and solve for t, you'll end up with t equals 19. So that means 19 years after 1990 is the year 2009. So it wants to know when country A will be greater than country B. So if you recall, country A for me was this line right here. 
and country B was this line right here. I highlighted in yellow where A of T is greater than B of T, so that is after the year 2009. Please let me know if you have any more questions on this section.